everybody, this is Sherry at djsundry.blogspot.com and today I have what I think will be a pretty quick project to make. So let's just jump right into it. I'm making one of my little journals and this is a little one and I am not doing anything super spectacular with it. This is a very simple journal and it's for a teenager. Now the teenager that I'm making this for likes a few things. She likes the colors blue and green. She kind of likes the camel stuff but I didn't really have a lot of camel stuff that would be appropriate for this. So. Um, definitely not a girly girl, but I can still make it pretty. And um, she also loves lattes or Starbucks of some sort. So I am making just this cute little, it can be an assignment book, whatever she wants it to be um, for her. And I'm using all scrap paper. So I've already done some of it, but let me show you what else I'm using. This, um, this is a piece of the scrap. This is from We Are Memory Keepers. And this is the Christine. Um, and it was double-sided paper, but that wasn't the correct colors but the, this had a little bit of like a oh a chartreuse or something and blue and so I did that and I just cut those and put them on the inside now because I'm not adding a bunch of dividers and everything in here I'm not going to worry about if I get it too close um, if you've seen any of my longer journal videos you know that you don't want to get your papers in too close because if you do um, it'll break the binding but because I'm not adding a lot of stuff in here I'm not worried about that so that's what I did on the inside then on the outside of the journal I have this paper here from K and Company, and this is, I can't remember which stack this is from, it's one I've had for a long time, and this is just a scrap of it, and it's also double sided. This side had some birds on it, and then the front side had a bunch of words that says things like journey, and loyal, and eventually, and surprise, and just all sorts of things. So for the back of the book, I've already um, adhered the bird side down, and that's just to give it some interest, um, but for the front, I'm using this word side so let's get that on here now um, I cut this um, a little bit shy I think I cut it at about three three and three quarter inches wide because I didn't necessarily want it to go all the way to the um, outside edge the tape edge because I went into my stash and also pulled some washi tape that we're going to use to go around the binding so it really wasn't all that important that I do, that I make sure that it was um, done, sorry, that I make sure that it went to the side because the side's going to be covered. So I'm just going to straighten that. Now I have a corner chomper and that's what I did on the back and it's just the the eighth inch side of the corner chomper was too round and the three eighths inch I mean was too small the three eighths inch was too big and it didn't completely cover it like I would have liked so I just decided I was just going to hand trim those corners out this time because I still want the curve I mean I'm not trying to take away it just adds a little bit to the dimension of the book so there is the outside of my book so I've got my um, words here, kind of fun and teenage. In fact, I think it was a teenage girl stack. And then this from the We Are Memory Keepers, We Are Memory Keepers, and then the other um, with the birds and stuff. So the washi tape that I have is this um, stripe. It's not the exact blue, but I'm really okay with that for this project. And I can't even tell you where I got this tape. I don't know, don't have a clue, I can't remember. Um, most of my washi tape is just thrown into my washi tape box and so I don't necessarily know where it came from so I'm just going to overlay it here and cut, tear it off just like that and then we're going to come and actually it's a beauty of washi tape it comes off easily it was split at the top so let's try that again also tears very very easily um, so we're going to make that nice and straight we're going to just tear that off I would rather go back and re-tear it um, now as you can see that is completely covering that spine um, after I'm done I'll just take a look and decide hey do I want to put another layer I probably will just because it just barely covers that, although this tape is sticking really well, so it might be okay. So um, again, I can just tear it here. I'll probably go back just to 
to clean up the edges a bit. Sorry, I'm afraid I probably moved off camera there. Let's see, let's just grab my scissors and cut this side. Trim it up just like so. Now, if you saw a recent video where I talked about everything that I um, have planned over the next few weeks, um, everything that I have planned is still planned, but of course I can't forget my birthdays and this is a birthday gift. So I'm just going to really adhere that down. Now I have to say, I don't, I wish I remembered where I got this washi tape because I really like it. Um, don't get me wrong, I love my Tim Holtz tape. Um, the transparent tape that you get from him but this really does stick a much better and I don't think I'm going to need to put another layer now again it's not the perfect blues but I think it coordinates well so we're going to go with it so now the next thing that I want to show you is I pulled my spellbinders out and um, I pulled out the classic scalloped rectangle and this is the next to largest rectangle in that set and so I cut it out and I, I wasn't trying to emboss it, although I see that a little bit embossed. And then I went into my Three Girl Jam ribbon stash and pulled out my chocolate, um, and my hot chocolate ribbon. And I just used my um, Scotch Quick Dry and I just kind of ruffled around. Now the back's kind of messy and that's okay. I wanted it to still um, be kind of roughly. I just didn't want it to be completely straight. And I think because of the extra bulk that the ribbon makes, I think I'm just going to add, instead of doing ATG like my original plan was, I'm going to add quick dry. Now the paper that I used for this little rectangle is um, a scrap. In fact, every paper that I used on this project was a scrap in some form. But this is a scrap from Vintage Cream paper tray ink paper and I'm just going to center that right like so press down well and hold it here for a second because I don't want it to come up now there's a little tiny tad of white that snuck through in a couple places but I think it's going to be okay because when it dries it dries clear now it dries clear that's true but a disclaimer here is though it does dry clear always remember that ribbon will lose it will become stiff where there's glue so you don't want to leave globs of glue around. You want to clean it up as best as you can. So there we have our little frame on here. And then I have this little cup of latte. Now to make that, I went out and I got my um, Love You Latte cartridge, which I hadn't used in quite some time. And so I pulled that out and I found the latte in it. And I cut the latte. This cream color is vintage cream, I believe. Looks like it coordinates. Again, it was a scrap. Um, but I cut this at two and a half inches. And then the second layer is a, like a, a little bit darker. And I cut that also, of course, at two and a half inches. And then I cut the little brown parts also at two and a half inches out of a brown scrap. And I was really surprised. I didn't think the straw thing was going to fit, but it did. And then I did not want to attempt to cut out the word latte out of such a small piece and so what I did instead was I cut out um, I, I got out my Candra design coffee and tea for you and me and I stamped the word latte using memento tuxedo black now I could um, do some dimension here and actually I think I will I, I thought about not doing dimension because if if the recipient of this book uses the book if there's a lot of dimension to it they're going to, it's likely to fall off. So I guess the best thing for me to do to prohibit that from happening would just be to put a lot of dimensional tape on it. And this is just my foam tape that I picked up somewhere, probably Walmart, I think. I think this is part of what I got on clearance um, a while back when they were clearancing out their Elmer stuff. So that'll be good for now. I'll just stick that back because it's still usable. And then we, We'll just get this all glued on. Almost done here. And just smash it down. Okay, so there we have a little book for a teenager who loves to drink coffee. So thanks for stopping by today. Um, be sure and come back soon for more projects, tips, and ideas. And in the meantime, remember to take some time to enjoy the little things, whether it's a little notebook, a hot latte, 
or whatever it may be, just remember to take a few minutes out today to enjoy the little things. Have a great day. Bye. Okay, everybody, I couldn't, of course, leave well enough alone, so I needed something to put this cute little treasure in. So um, let's decorate a bag. These little bags that I have are the perfect size. I've already folded it over here because I want to decorate the top, um, and you'll see how in just a minute. So I have done, I pulled two sets of my stamps. I pulled Coffee and Tea for You and Me and the Coffee and Tea for You and Me image set that has, oh, look how well that latte matches. And then it has a nice um, frappe or something. And then some a few words, and then I pulled some words off of here. And what I've done is I've set it up on my big Fisker stamp punch because I want to stamp them all at once. And um, so this is how we're going to do that. Now, I failed to mention earlier that when I was, um, I inked around the edges of some of that, um, of some of the, the off-white pieces or the vintage cream pieces um, with chestnut roan and I'm going to use that well I was planning on using it but it's getting kind of used up it looks like so let's go with dark brown um, these are color box chalk inks I use a chestnut roan on the vintage cream on the um, card itself but on this I'm going to use this dark brown and maybe I'm not Think we better just for the sake of being making sure that it's okay let me grab a piece of scratch paper here and see how well it's going to stamp for me because if it's not going to stamp cleanly we'll pull some different ink out yeah I think it's my inks are getting very old and it's about time for those chalk inks to go so hold on just a second and we will pull out some Tim Holtz ink. Um, sorry about that. Let's go with Walnut Stain just because we know that that's a fairly dark one. It's not quite as dark as, or it's a different tone, I guess. Not that it's not as dark, but it's definitely a different tone than the... Um, gather twigs but I think it will still work okay so I want to ink it up really well now I've never tried to do this many stamps all at once so we're going to see now when I'm doing this I want it to kind of come down and cover that flap that's why I went ahead and flapped it over because obviously it's going to be flapped over when I do my bag and there we go perfect so let's ink her up again And this time let's kind of come down a little bit I'm going off the bag I, I realized that and I'm really okay with that because I want it to look like it was made that way and you see what a time saver this is doing it where um, I ink up several stamps at once because I'm not trying to get any different colors on any of them I just want to have um, the variety there. So I think one more time and we will be done with this part. Now I know if you've seen my previous bag videos that I've done and I've done a few, if you've seen them you probably know that I usually will cut a hole in my bag and put um, some ribbon in it but this time I'm going to do something a little bit different. So we're going to slide our little gift in and bend it over. Isn't that cute? So simple. In such a neat way, it's it won't add a lot to the weight um, of my bag. And a little piece of the matching washi tape. And we're all done. So there we have it, this cute little gift. Thanks again for stopping by, and remember to take some time to enjoy the little things. Have a great day.